May the 5th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at updated images from the video last night. It includes today's images. And what we're seeing is a continuation of explosions from the sunspot that's now returning around to our side of the sun. You look back at the timestamp going through the second, third, and there was an explosion on the first. There's the big one yesterday. And watch on the fifth today, another one. And these are being picked up on our x-ray flux charts in boulder colorado we'll take a look at that now this is uh, lasco c3 the same satellite that gives us the earth facing perspectives that we saw in the red camera it's just a different camera that gives us a much wider view time stamps the same on the bottom as you go through this notice coming up through the third you see the sunspot rotating around towards uh or the earth facing perspective there on the 4th, again today on the 5th, not as strong, but they are being picked up on the x-ray flux charts. See the energy that's uh, continuing out. Check this out. Different satellite, same perspective. The difference between the uh, Solar Dynamics Observatory that you're looking at now called the SDO and the images from LASCO is... Lasco was blocking out the sun so we could see the outer perimeters of the activity. This one focuses with different filters on the sun. Notice these very sharp explosions. Remember that I said last night it would take a 109 of our Earths to go across just this side of the sun. And as it rotates towards Earth, which would be in the center, we're starting to see an uptick in what's called the uh, x-ray flux. This is a measurement of the solar flares of the sun. It's coming out of Boulder, Colorado. Now, these measurements are like <clears throat> measuring light in two ways. One, if you're, some, you're directly in the beam of the light, it's very intense. But if you're off to the side, it's not. And what's happening, you see your x-flare, m-flare, c, and b-class uh, flare uh, classifications on the right, guys. We're only seeing the side beams, and I've seen it for years. You can have very strong flares that we're seeing uh, in visually indicated. The x-ray flux chart is only getting the side burst. This is more concerning to me than anything I've seen in quite a while. For seven years, I've watched this chart. It's called the Magnetic Connectivity Solarscape Viewer. Notice Mars is in the orange uh, chart here now what happened this is the spots on the sun that our satellites have indicated that is the magnetic connectivity point of the different planets you've got earth here mercury up above and venus up above but listen guys something has changed and what happens is there's a connectivity point between here uh, on the sun and the planets that keep them in orbit now, the Earth is in the blue dot at the bottom. This is what concerns me more than anything I've seen in seven years. Normally, that blue dot is in the top right corner where I have the blue arrow. You see that arrow point? Something has changed. The scientists are saying the um, sun could be going through a magnetic polar shift, complete reversal, and it can do that even every 12 years. This is also indicating to me that the Earth is going through a magnetic shift in its poles. Look at this. This is just from 2015, but going back to 2012 when I first started watching this, up until early 2019 this year, the magnetic connectivity point of the Earth and the Sun was in this corner that I told you about. It would vary between these quadrants, one or two degrees. That's it. Suddenly now, the Earth's connectivity point or the point of energy that holds us to the orbit of the sun has changed down to the very bottom where I have the other yellow arrow. We're dealing with new science. I'm looking into it very closely. But what uh, has that to do with us? It has to do with what's called space weather equals Earth's weather. What happens here? especially during grand solar minimum where our shields are weak, affects us greatly. Now, guys, I got in yesterday from down in Perdido, Florida. 
I'm working on an old boat. I remember my sailboat got destroyed in Hurricane Michael last year that ended up being classified as a Category 5. Salvaged parts, motor sails, things like that. And got a used, uh, another used boat. Been down there working on it. For the last two nights, I've been out in B Big Lagoon. And that's uh, between P Pensacola and Perdido. Ferocious winds. Terrible winds. Boats getting grounded uh, tornado type winds lightning rain things like that this all has to do with what i'm talking about here our shields are weak we're in grand solar minimum and when we see this activity on the sun and these shifts it's telling us that we're going to get wilder changes more drastic changes in wind patterns and increased strength guys in indonesia no excuse me in india massive almost a cat five typhoon came in there and we're looking at early season results we've seen it go through all the wild storms in north america but now suddenly an increase a decrease and a drop in the connectivity point between the earth and the sun it has to do with two factors the sun's magnetic poles are shifting not the physical poles guys there's two that's a complete different thing your magnetic pole can shift and the physical pole doesn't same thing on earth physical pole shift would mean utter destruction of all life as we know it on the planet magnetic shift pole can happen without that and it's been recorded in the volcano magma for hundreds of thousands of years they can detect it because once the magma hardened and you put a compass to it, it will tell you the, the direction of the lines of force inside that metal when the lava hardened. And they can tell it's going from south to north. But guys, the drastic change in these two yellow arrows going from the top one to wh where we're at now, I've never seen it before. We are in a new age of science. I'm watching it. You watch it. Watch for full updates. Heads up. Be safe. Guys, very quickly, I'm going to put a link to this website that my Patriot Supply built for us. Right now, this $249 Alexa Pure water filter that with this filter will give you 5,000 gallons of the purest water you can drink on this planet. Reduces 99.9% .9 of 200 plus contaminants including heavy metals, fluoride, chlorine, viruses, and bacteria, pesticides, and pharmaceuticals. Guys, just to keep it quick, $100 off. That's the $249 system. Again, special offer for you guys. They'll also notice emergency food, air purifica uh, purification, heirloom seeds, and survival essentials. Heads up, be safe.